Skunk Hour for Elizabeth Bishop by Robert Lowell. Nautilus Island's hermit heiress still lives through winter in her Spartan cottage. Her sheep still graze above the sea. Her son's a bishop. Her farmer is first selectman in our village. She's in her dotage. Thirsting for the hierarchical privacy of Queen Victoria's century, she buys up all the eyesores facing her shore and lets them fall. The season's ill. We've lost our summer millionaire who seemed to leap from an L.L. Bean catalog. His nine-knot yaw was auctioned off to lobstermen. A red fox stain covers Blue Hill. And now our decorator brightens his shop for fall, his fishnets filled with orange cork, orange his cobbler's bench and all. There is no money in his work. He'd rather marry. One dark night, my tutor four climbed the hill's skull. I watched for love cars. Lights turned down. They laid together hole to hole where the graveyard shelves on the town. My mind's not right. A car radio bleats love, oh careless love. I hear my ill spirit sob in each blood cell as if my hands were at its throat. I myself am hell. Nobody's here. Only skunks that search in the moonlight for a bite to eat. They march on their souls up Main Street, white stripes, moonstruck eyes, red fire, under the chalk-dry and spar spire of the Trinitarian Church. I stand on top of our back steps and breathe the rich air. A mother skunk with her column of kittens swills the garbage pail. She jabs her wedge head in a cup of sour cream, drops her ostrich tail, and will not scare.